Sigmund Freud sat for the original of this bust. It was sculpted by David Paul Königsberger and presented to the famous psychiatrist by his students and friends on his 65th birthday in 1921. Born in Moravia in 1856, Sigmund Freud moved with his family to Vienna when he was three. He initially wanted to be a politician, but chose medicine instead. He studied at the University of Vienna and obtained his habilitation there in 1885 in the field of neuropathology. After some time spent doing research in Paris and Nancy, Freud returned to Vienna and began to practice medicine, increasingly pursuing his studies of mental illnesses. His novel and groundbreaking approach to the life of the psyche became the basis of the new science of the unconscious and psychoanalysis. In 1902, he became an associate professor and in 1919, full professor. Freud's influence has been enormous throughout the world to this day. Many of his students became important psychologists, for example, Alfred Adler, the founder of the School of Individual Psychology, Helena Deutsch, the first female psychoanalyst, and the founder of analytical psychology, Carl Jung. Freud's books, such as The Interpretation of Dreams or The Ego and the Id, are among the most widely read theoretical writings of the 20th century. Many terms coined by or named after Sigmund Freud, such as the unconscious, the Oedipus complex, or the Freudian slip, have become part of common language. After the Nazis took power in 1938, the 82-year-old Freud was forced to emigrate. He died a year later in London. There, his daughter Anna, also a renowned psychoanalyst, made a museum dedicated to her father's life and work. The popular Sigmund Freud Museum in Vienna opened in 1971 in Berggasse 19, where Freud lived and had his practice for many years. This copy of David Paul Königsberger's bust was placed in the arcaded courtyard and inaugurated in a ceremony in 1955. The inscription on the marble base is an excerpt from Oedipus Rex by Sophocles. <laughs>